Hey there boys and girls, it's Will here, gonna show you how to share your computer's internet with your Xbox. This is a quick fix on how to get your Xbox uh, to connect to a wireless network without having to buy the adapter. It's not a great permanent solution, but it does work for uh, temporary use. Um, you start by uh, making sure that your Mac has a, has a wireless internet connection um, enabled currently, because you're gonna need that. Uh, connect, then you need to connect your Xbox to your computer via Ethernet. Uh, you can use the Ethernet cable that your Xbox came with. And uh, any uh, Ethernet cable will suffice. Uh, enable, you need to enable the Internet sharing in the preferences. So uh, you need to go to System Preferences and click Sharing. And then uh, check the Internet Sharing box. And as you can see, the Ethernet box here is checked. So we are good there. Um, then we need to obtain the IP address of the Ethernet port on your computer. To do that, we need to go to Terminal, which can be found in the Applications folder, in the Utilities folder, um, or you could just use Spotlight to, to find it. And you, what you need to type is ifconfig en0. And you're going to look for this um, inet address here. Um, there are more than one inets floating about, but you want this one, the first one. So you're going to uh, copy that or just leave the window open for future reference. But you're going to need that number later. All right. Uh, now you need to power on your Xbox. As you can see, I've done. Um, then we need to go to get the Xbox button and go to your system settings. Then go to network settings, wired network, configure network. Under the basic tab, we're going to hit this one, the top one, and hit manual. And uh, from here, you're going to enter the different uh, the different numbers that are going to properly configure the the connection. Under IP address, you want to enter the number you got when you uh, were in terminal. But you're gonna add. You're gonna do one more number. So mine was one nine one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot one. So I would enter one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot two. So one number larger than the number you got with the if config en zero terminal uh, command. So uh, that is that one. And then you go into subnet mask and you enter two five five dot two two five five dot two five five dot zero which is a standard subnet mask, it might already be there. Um, your gateway is going to be the number, the specific number you got from the if config en0 command. Mine was what you see on the screen there, so I entered it. Um, then we're gonna go done and go to DNS settings, go to manual, and hit primary and enter the IP address of your router, which you can find this address by going to your system preferences, network, hitting your airport um, connection, hitting advanced, and then going to TCP slash IP, and the router address is right there. So that is how you find that. And we can just enter that into there, which I have done, and enter the same thing for the secondary and then hit done. And you're done. After that, you should be able to exit and hit test Xbox Live connection. When I did this, it said that it's not gonna be, um, that the way it's configured is not ideal, but I've, I haven't really noticed that big of a difference between being connected. I mean, it's probably slower in general, but. Uh, it, um, it won't hurt you that much. I've played online games with this connection set up this way and it, it works just fine. As you can see, I just logged in to Xbox.